I grew up in Zimbabwe in Africa, little boy growing up, nothing wrong with my eyes. When I was 18, joined the Air Force. I was going to be a fighter pilot like my dad, failed my medical. Three years later, at 21, learned I was going to go totally blind. Messed up my quality of life. I was depressed, thought my life was going to be useless. And right up to the age of 50, I did very little because everybody told me, society, friends, family, blindness is a bad, it's a rubbish thing. And uh, what turned my life around at the age of 50 was my brother Jeffrey, uh, also totally blind, living in Durban in South Africa. He built a yacht in his back garden by Feel and then sailed it solo to Australia, totally blind, totally alone, relying on speech output on very basic navigational instruments. And that was my kick up the backside. When he wanted to sail to Australia, they said, it's impossible for a blind man to cross an ocean solo. And my brother said, no, not impossible, just never been done before. So he was my kick up the backside, stop being a pathetic wimp, you know, shame, poor on me, I'm blind. He said, if you want to succeed in life, focus on your goals and your dreams, not on your current situation. And the big thing I'm trying to say, both to you as an individual and at corporate level, Beware of thinking that your ability to succeed in life is critically linked to your circumstances. No, you can't control your circumstances. You can control your response. And I've realized that for companies or individuals to succeed today, do not focus on your current problems or challenge. Focus on your dreams, your goals, and work it out. My life has been transformed, uh, I guess, from the age of 50. And I've learned so many life lessons, life principles that I think are relevant to you as an individual and to your company. First big one is this quality of life, ability to succeed, to be happy is not your circumstances, it's your response. Number two, many things in your life or your company, not impossible, just haven't done them yet. Number three, huge one my brother taught me, focus on your dreams, your goals, what you want to do, not a new situation. Number four, big thing I've learned, don't be afraid of doing new things. Don't be afraid of failing. Physically, probably the hardest thing was running through the Sahara Desert with my feet just covered in blisters and bleeding. That was uh, physical toughness. Mentally, it was definitely Antarctica in a, a harness trying to pull a sledge 1,200 kilometers to the South Pole. Uh, wind howling, it's cold. You can't talk to anybody, you're pulling a sledge 10 hours a day. You have to go somewhere else in your head. Your life, in summary, you want to succeed. It's not your circumstances, it's how you respond. Many things in your life, not impossible, you just haven't done them yet. Focus on your goals and your dreams, not your current situation. False evidence appearing real. Don't be afraid. Face your fears. Get out there anyway. It's a lot easier than you think. Persevere. I don't know what's going on in your life now. I want to tell you something. You'd be amazed how far you can go if you don't give up in your personal life. Other people don't know about what's going on. Hang in there, my friend. You can do it. Company, hang in there. Have a lot of fun. Enjoy life. It's the only one we've got. Uh, remember, teamwork, relationships, caring for people around you. And my quote to finish it all. My old Sitton Bible quote, the only limits in your life are the ones that you accept yourself. Baby, it's a good life. Get out there, live it to the full. It's the only one you've got.